Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Book HQ. So today I'm going to be talking about Talia Hibbert. She's British and she writes romance and it's very diverse romance in many different ways. Set in Ravenswood in this little, I guess it's like rural England. It's interesting because I, when I was reading it I, I told my friend like, oh I'm reading this book, it's set in like Ravenswood and she was like, Ravenswood? Is it about Chicago? Because I grew up in a, in a suburb called Ravenswood in Chicago and I was like, no. So the first book is um, A Girl Like Her and it's about Ruth and Evan. And Ruth is kind of like a geek and she's autistic and she had this super toxic um, emotionally abusive relationship for seven years with this guy called Daniel who's the town's sweetheart whose dad owns a big company in the town that most people work for and like they're super wealthy. So Evan is new to town, he's actually working for Daniel's dad at this family company. Ruth and Evan end up being neighbors and then they start to get to know each other and they have a romance. In this book, Evan's best friend is Zach and in the next book, which is Untouchable, the story is about Zach's brother Nate coming back to town because Zach and Nate's mom is ill and Hannah, who is Ruth's sister, who we're also like, we're introduced to the both of these characters kind of um, in the first book. Hannah a lot more so than Nate. We're looking into Hannah's life, she destroyed her life, I guess defending Ruth's honor when she found out about like how awful Daniel was to her, she destroyed his sports car and then she got a criminal record because he pressed charges and then she's not able to continue practicing what she studied to do professionally. So she ends up being a nanny to Nate who's a widower and has moved back with these two kids. They end up falling in love. It's a bit of a sticky situation because it's like an employer-employee situation. The lines are kind of blurry because it kind of might be that he's taking advantage of her because of his position of power, etc. But it's really interesting the way in which they handle, or Talia Hibbert handles it. And at the end, it's a happy ending. They have a friend in book one and book two. There's this friend, her name is Ray. And the third book is about Ray and Nate's brother. Nate's brother, Zach, who I talked about from book one. It's called, the book is called That Kind of Guy, and we discover that Nate is a demisexual and he's kind of struggling with it, and it's part of the reason why he was kind of a lad about town, because he was struggling with it and with the need to please people. Ray is new to town, she's divorced, she was married to an emotionally abusive a-hole, and she got a lot of his money in the settlement, so she's like rich. They call her old, but she's not that old, she's like in her 40s. The whole gang basically are friends. The couples are friends, but Ray and Zach aren't a couple when the book starts. And then they, you know, but they get along really well, and then, you know, as the book goes on, sparks fly, but then there's uncertainty because there's complication with Zach being demisexual and Ray having a problem trusting people because her mom is actually the worst, super emotionally abusive, and then she also had that history with the emotionally abusive husband. Um, but in the end, they get together, and at the end of that book, we see all three couples engaged at the same time. So I personally loved all the books because they're very steamy. So like, if you're gonna be listening to them in audiobook, you need to put on earphones because. Talia Hibbert does not shy away from getting graphically detailed in how the intimate deeds are done. And it's great, I love it. <laughs> Just don't listen to it if you have an audience, if there are people around that you, it's not children, like whatever. What I really liked about the story is being able to move between people's heads really seamlessly. I also really loved that characters, supporting characters are really fleshed out fully and like feel real and whole so that when she moves to the next books she picks up with those former supporting characters as the main characters and it feels totally like normal like we know them i really enjoyed that about it and i also loved that as the books progress she doesn't just like forget about the previous protagonists from the other books she has them in there and they're quite involved in each other's lives in a way that seems like real and seamless really that's that book series i'm reading her I guess it's her first book series, I think, because I now trust Talia Hibbert and where she's taking me um, in a story. So knowing that, you know, there, I'll get an emotional payoff um, and that I'll, I'll also learn something from it. And another thing I really like a lot about Talia Hibbert's writing is that she, she really does touch on really serious issues like emotional abuse, living with autism, interacting with people who have autism, and also like working through emotional stress and difficulty when you have been who are in relationships with people who are emotionally abusive. And that's a really 
important topic. A lot of people experience it without even realizing it and a lot of people just kind of brush it off as not being something serious, but it is. And I really like the way that she handles it um, tastefully and respectfully. I kind of also like the way in which her protagonists break those kind of toxic cycles. If you've already read some of them, do let me know. Leave a comment in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Click the bell as well so that you know when I post new videos. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, keep reading and keep watching. Bye-bye.